Hello everybody, I'm Buck WSR Weezer putting the do into do-it-yourself and our do-it-yourself project today is here at the 1998 Bounder by Fleetwood RV. We're going to change out the driver's side window. I'm going to link to a couple of videos above where I've already talked to you and introduced this project. We showed you how to measure the rough opening to order your replacement window. And then we also did another unboxing video of the new window arriving from motionwindows.com. Now's the big day to install it. I'm fighting a little bit of a cold, so you might hear that in my voice, sneezing, wheezing, whistling. But uh, we're gonna give it our best shot since we got a beautiful day today. It's dry and it's warm. So the first step's gonna be to uh, take out the old window. And to do that, we gotta start inside. So let's walk around. And uh, I'll show you that first step. And I'll try to set you up here in a way that you can actually see what I'm doing. We're going to take off. You can see how that thing's all fogged up. Impossible to see through it. Dangerous to, uh, to try and drive this thing. So this is really an essential upgrade that we're doing today all right so the next step is to remove the inner trim ring inner trim ring it goes around here like so I've removed some of these screws already and we're just gonna I had removed the trim ring when measuring for the when measuring for the rough opening and I didn't put them all back in. So just a few more to pull out here. All right, so here we are on the outside. Our next step now will be to try to pry it out because it's, it's sealed and glued along the edge here. And uh, so it'd be a combination of pushing from the inside, but also with a couple of different scrapers, maybe try to get under there. Uh, it could be a little bit of a challenge, and we'll take our time. We've got a little makeshift scaffolding set up here. Let me see what I can do. All right, I feel like I'm making some progress here. There we go. Fell it loose along this bottom here. pretty good across the top. on the bottom and the other and the sides still sealed a little bit here at the top just climb up here and uh, help me hold the weight of this thing so it comes out from here outside and, Okay. You all right? Yeah. Just 
step down. You stay up there. All right, set it on the uh, scaffold. Perfect. Okay. So that guy is, uh, he's out. That wasn't too bad at all. And what I need to do now is come along and make sure I clean this surface really well of any of the residual sealant. Might try some paint thinner on a rag or, uh, you know, some kind of solvent to get that off. So I'm going to do that next. All right, so I got a plastic scraper and I got some solvent here. I'm going to try this. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, that works good. There really isn't too much residue left on here, which I'm glad. So cleaning this up won't be that hard. This is actually uh, rubbing alcohol that I'm using. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes and uh, then we'll be ready for the, uh, the dry fit. Place the window in place without adding the sealant. Just make sure it has a good fit. Work on that a little bit, and uh, bring you back, and you can join me for the uh, trial run. Okay, so we got the new window. We're gonna fit it into place. This is the dry fit, just to test, to make sure it fits all right. How does that look to you? All right, so I'm gonna go inside. Come over here to the middle, and. Uh, just make sure it doesn't blow out towards you. I want to go inside and just take a look from the inside at how it seems to fit if we need to shim it up. From outside, it looks perfect. But, we'll look inside too. Mm. Uh, I know sometimes you have to shim it, lift it up a little bit. So, we're looking here. The opening. Hi, Dave. <laughs> A little bit of space up here at the top. So I kind of feel like we should shim it up just a tad bit, like with a couple of paint stirring sticks at the bottom, because we do have a little bit of a little bit of a gap here at the top. Whereas, of course, no gap at the bottom because it's sitting on the track. Okay, got the window, the new window laid out here on the work table, and I'm going to apply the uh, adhesive sealing tape that, come, that it comes with. First, I'm going to take some solvent again and just wipe down the, uh, the metal where it's going to meet up. Sure what happened to the sunshine. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but it's suddenly overcast and it's scaring me. Alright, that'll dry pretty much instantly. And now we can begin to put the tape on. And I want to start at the bottom, right in the middle, and work my way around. And I'm going to press it into place. And I'm going to remove the, the white paper tape as I go. <clears throat> because the tape, the paper backing is a little bit stiff. So 
press it in a fucking place. Come on. Sorry about all the sniffling. And then, remove the tape before you do the corners because the tape's kind of, the paper's kind of stiff. Remove the paper. And then this can go in like that. That's pretty good. Alright, final corner. Alright, so we've come here to where we started, and what I want to do is get my scissors, <coughs> cut it, and I want to overlap by about a half inch where we started. We're going to let that overlap right there. Let me see what I'm doing. Yeah. So we're going to overlap our, our starting point by about a half an inch. Paper comes off, that's good. Here's a little bit of paper that didn't come off. All right, this window is now ready to be placed into the opening. So let's get to it. <clears throat> All right, before putting the new window in place, I am going to use some water in a spray bottle and just spray the entire seam that we just, the entire sealant tape that we just put on. Because the water is going to make it a little more forgiving at the beginning, so we get it perfectly placed where we want it. And I'm also going to do use some water spray around the perimeter of the, of the opening in a similar fashion so that the placement of the window can be a little bit more forgiving. After that, we'll be ready to put it in place. All right, why don't you jump up there? Now, we realize I've got that sticky tape around the whole perimeter. You wanna stick your fingers into that. Coming up. How's that? In the back. Push it in. And don't push it tight up against the RV yet. Hold it at the top, half inch away. I'm going to go in and see how it looks from the inside. And when I give you the sign that all is good, you can just push it forward. Okay on the whole perimeter. <clears throat> oh, right. Pushing it at the top a little bit more. Looks good to me. Go ahead and push it in at the top and the bottom. Yeah, gently pressing all the way around the perimeter of it. Amazing. I love it. That's great. All right, so our, our next step will be to go inside and uh, secure it with the trim ring. 
which will serve to uh, finish it off on the inside and also pull it tight against the RV for a good seal. All right, so we've got the trim ring here, moving it in, into place. Up there like so. Alright, so now I'm going to take some uh, some of the supplied screws and uh, drop one and start working my way around. I'm just going to put them, some of them in at the key places, corners, but I'm not going to completely tighten them yet. I'm okay. Alright. It pushed out a little, but I've tried pushing it in. Yeah, see it is it pushed back in? Yeah. Alright, going to the top corner here. Can you put your hand up here? Yeah. The steering wheel makes it a little challenging. All right. All right. One more there. All right, that's it. They're all in. I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna get a quarter-inch nut driver and tighten them down the rest of the way by hand uh, because I just don't want to overdo it with the uh, with the drill. It's harder to, harder with the drill to feel how much torque you're actually putting into it. But I think that's going to be about it. Let's take a walk and take, see how it looks on the outside. Not bad, not bad. Now I don't think any additional steps are required. There are some RV manufacturers that do put a bead of sealant across the top in a caulk-like product, which I may look into, but technically, theoretically, it's not necessary, according to Motion Windows, to do any additional sealing. And so now I've got my new window in. These here are drain holes, and there's supposed to be a little vent that goes over top of this, which I haven't been able to locate. Not sure if perhaps they weren't included or if I misplaced them without realizing it. But that's it. It's a done deal. It's a beautiful thing. I want to thank you for joining me on this video. Hope it helped you on your RV projects. It's fun. Looking forward to really going on the road now that I can see clearly out the driver's side window. That is kind of important, right? There's our makeshift scaffolding. That worked. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Hey, what are you bugging me for? I'm trying to make a video here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm sliding the new trim ring into place. That's a problem. Oh boy.
coming out. Better go get my helper.